This is your quick bar hit workout that's going to rev up your heart rate while also toning and sculpting your beautiful body. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'm gonna be using a set of hand weights to take it up a notch. If you don't have any, that's okay. You can do it without it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be keeping time for you. Go ahead and grab those weights if you have them. Our first move is going to be coming down and reaching up, taking the knee up towards the sky like that, okay? So you're gonna take it up towards your chest. Nice little squat right here and lower and up. So we're gonna do 45 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Just follow along. Whew getting right there into our heart rate. So this is a great low impact workout that's not going to do any jumping. So great for those knees and you can just work on strengthening your body while still getting that heart rate up. Nice, 10 second break right here. We're gonna take our left leg behind us. We're gonna take a nice little arabesque lift as the arms lift up overhead. So my arms are gonna stay parallel and then you're gonna lift and lower. Let's go. So I love this one because you really have to engage your core as you use your back muscles. Whew. So full body right here. So stay on the I'm on the left leg, so stay on the left leg. And then the next round, we're gonna switch to the other foot. Okay, a little 10 second breather and we're gonna go back to our squats to lifting the knee up towards your chest. Okay, we'll go in three, two, one, let's go. breather make sure you switch to the other leg my heart rate is definitely up <sighs> feels so good right let's go lift lower so if you're feeling pretty cooked in the shoulder so you can switch it up and do a row here instead so just taking the arms up all right let's do that arms to the side lift the leg up Make sure that the chest is slightly pitched forward though, okay? And then make sure that your back is straight and strong. Keep the back leg straight and point the toes. Okay, a little breather. We're gonna go into our next move here. Keep one weight in your hand. You're gonna roll up, twist, roll down, and twist. Go ahead, join me when you're ready. Knee comes in towards your chest, and you just come into this nice little C curve as you twist over as far as you can. Twist, release, twist, nice. Keep the lower belly button down in towards your spine. Nice exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Exhale, inhale. Okay, grab both of those weights. We're gonna take them both overhead as the legs do a little crisscross four times. Bring it all the way up, 
top of the toes, reach back out, let's go. Four, three, two, one, Woo. If it's too much with the weights, just take them out. We're doing those two exercises one more time. Take it down to just one weight here. And let's go. Little twist. So I want you to really focus on lengthening your spine right here. Lengthen, lengthen up through the chest. Good. Almost like you're stretching your back muscles. So this is a full body workout for you. One of those perfect workouts to squeeze in to your day or if you're traveling and you just only have 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes, I always say, is better than zero minutes, right? Okay, little breather and then grab your weights. Decide if you're gonna use both of them or just one or none of them, and let's go. sure if that was ever gonna end. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come onto our side. We're gonna lift the left leg up as the elbow comes in towards our uh, ribs and reach up. That's it, right here. underneath your knee and you're just going to press it up into a donkey kick squeeze the weight tap the knee back down that's it so we've done a ton of core work so right here your core should be really nice and fired up so I want you to think of the upper body as really strong right here all right so keep those hips square almost feel like you're tucking your pelvis under slightly because your core is pulling in so much Good. So after this, we're gonna switch to the other leg with the side leg lifts. Okay, switching it around. Come on to the left side or whichever side you haven't done yet arm reaches up, make sure that the core stays nice and tight, and then the elbow draws in as the leg reaches up.
Okay, put that weight behind the knee. Hands to the floor. Tighten up that core, and let's go. Squeeze the weight here to engage the hamstrings and the lowest part of the glute there. Stand up for our last circuit. You're gonna take the weights all the way down to the floor. Take them all the way up, rise up onto your toes, okay? This will surely get the heart rate up. Floor. I'm going to challenge you here, and we're going to take a, the, hand, the weight underneath the hand. You're going to do a push-up right here. Take that arm, extend it back for a tricep extension. All right, so I have the modification up there for you if you need it. Otherwise, let's do this. I know this is a challenging one, but I know you came here to get challenged, right? To grow, to get stronger. Always maintaining that growth mindset. At any time, you can put those knees down, okay? Whew, okay. I almost made it through all the way. Maybe next time I will, right? It's always my goal. I'm trying to just progress every time. Let's go. All the way down and up. We are almost there. I've got a nice, fun finisher for you. I know you guys love a good finish. To kick it off and end it with a bang. See if you can move a little bit quicker through these. Keeping that heart rate nice and high. Okay, other side. Here we go. Up onto those toes or your knees, whatever you need to. Let's go. Just make sure that you are challenging yourself. Okay, for our finisher, we are going to do our ballet bar bur burpees. <laughs> ballet bar burpees. Okay, so what are those? They are going to come all the way up onto our heels, rise up to our toes, come down, and step it out, okay? You wanna add that push up there 
you are definitely more than welcome to. All right, 60 seconds here. I will get the clock for us. And let's go. Remember, you can always omit the push up and you can also just step it back as well as a good modification. Good, last five, four, three, two, one. Woo. You are all done. I'm so proud of you. Make sure that you leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Like this video. Love you so much. Make sure you cool down with some stretches. I've got a ton here on my channel for you. So check that out. I'll see you next time. Bye.